morning everyone. This is Dory, back with another one of Dory's Helpful Hints. This is the video you've all been waiting for where I promised that I would come back and give you the results of the poll on the three palettes that we actually looked at. <clears throat> the first one that we looked at was my Bright Winter Fan. <clears throat> and we had seven colors from it. And the second palette that I looked at was David Zyla's, and people wished that I had held up more colors from David's palette. So this is a better assortment of David's colors. My bases, my tranquils, my energy, uh, my romantic, which are all taken from my actual personal colors. And the final palette that we looked at <clears throat> was my Tawny Autumn palette. Okay, <clears throat> so if you've been following along in the comments of the poll on the actual YouTube video that I posted, you'll know that Bright Winter was coming out ahead. I also posted the video in several other places and got comments, and Bright Winter did come out ahead in the poll, <clears throat> so it did very, very well. David Zyla's palette for me, my dusky summer palette, came in second. And my Tawny Autumn palette was, regrettably, a, a distant third. I'm not really surprised by the results, because I know that the bright colors seem to brighten the complexion. Some people commented that the David Zyla palette matched my coloring better. I'm not sure that any of these three palettes is actually my palette. Um, several people said I could wear colors from all three palettes, and I think that's probably accurate. I don't know that anybody fits into one specific season. The color that I'm wearing today is actually a match for a spring um, palette. The white that I'm wearing today uh, could be either spring or bright winter. The gold jewelry um, is actually a bronze because I'm so tan right now that gold is a little too bright. The bronze actually matches my skin tone better. One of the things that I think is, is an interesting takeaway from this is that I am, I look better, my skin does better with gold jewelry as opposed to silver jewelry. And that would be indicative of a warmer season. Um, and when it comes to white, I can't wear the pure white. My veins have a greenish cast to them. Um, so I think I've said in other videos that my skin is more of a neutral to a neutral warm rather than a cool. I can't do cool. So the bright winter palette kind of lends to both. A bright spring palette would lend to both. David's palette for me was very, very cool. I think the colors in his palette that don't work for me are the blued purples. The blued purples really don't work at all. I've I actually made a video wearing a very dark blued purple that was in my palette for David and, and I looked so old. It was horrible. Um, next I think I will, I wasn't going to, but I think I will come back and do a spring palette. Something that I wasn't aware of because I had been involved in the Dressing Your Truth system. Spring palettes are not all about bright colors. As I said, this is in my spring palette. This is actually almost a, a match to a color that was in the spring swatches that I got. Um, and this was many, many years ago. So if you don't have to do their warm colors and their, their lighter colors with a lot of the, the buff and tan and beiges, and this is, this is actually, I think, um, it's got a mustard yellow and a beige color woven together in the fabric. So I will get back with you on doing some spring swatches. Other people had commented they wanted to see all of the reds together so that they could make a determination based on comparison, kind of like they do in Sci Art. And I may look at putting together a video for that as well. I'm also gonna move away from fashion in some of my following videos. I've struggled with food sensitivities, allergies to things like MSG, 
and I wanted to put some, again, I've been studying diet and health now for over 20 years. And I would like to kind of share some of the information that I've learned on that because I think people might actually benefit from some of the, uh, some of the things that I've discovered along the way. Any comments that you would like to make or suggestions for upcoming videos, please put them in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe. And I will see you guys again next week. Thanks. Have a great week.